Hey, so in this video, I want to show you how you can do a CAC versus LTV analysis within Y42. And for sure, this is one of the more interesting ones, given that you really have to juggle lots of different data sources um, and merge all of them to be able to arrive at these kinds of analysis. Um, at the same time, it shows you how powerful all of this can be. Um, because you will be able to work based off on raw data and do your own calculations, no longer having to rely on the information you get from the siloed data sources. Okay, um, so what we see here is uh, one representation that you see the average CAC uh, versus LTV by channel, um, as well as uh, in terms of cohorts over time. And uh, to arrive at uh, these kind of visualizations, what we need um, at the core are uh, three different metrics. So uh, we need the first order date uh, of each order. Um, also, we need the uh, average CAC per channel and day that we attribute to those orders. And we need the LTV that we attribute to those orders. And what you see here basically is a filter um, of only new orders, given that the rule that we will apply uh, in terms of CAC calculation is to divide the ad spend of a, div, of a given channel and date um, by the number of only new orders of that given channel and date. So we do not attribute any cost to repeat orders. Okay, so um, let's take a step back and uh, look at this under the hood. Um, so first things first, uh, as always, you would first need to integrate your different data sources. So in this case, we're looking at an e-commerce shop that has orders via Shopify and Amazon. Um, and these orders all come, um, in this case, via paid, uh, paid advertising using Google Ads, Facebook Ads, and Amazon Ads. Um, so what we're going to build now is the following. And we have this feature called uh, Data Lineage, which basically shows you how different data sources are related to uh, models and what data flows in which way. And uh, what we will build in the end is a ad spend orders table. Uh, where we will have the customer acquisition cost on average as well as the LTV um, based on an order level. But to get there, uh, we don't like put all of these five data sources into one big model because this would be very uh, chaotic. Uh, what we do instead is we have a step in between, which is to create a orders combined table first, where we combine the two different orders and we also calculate some metrics that we need uh, in the further calculations. And we do the same for the ad spend. All right. So let's start with uh, the ad spend. So uh, here you have the model that does the combination of ad spend. So what you see is we have uh, three data sources here, uh, different ads uh, tables, and they all have a date, a channel, and an ad spend. Um, so the first thing we do is we union all of this. So all of the different um, ad spend information is in one table. So here you see we have Google ads, Amazon ads, and Facebook ads all in one table. Um, and one thing we noticed is that the date column actually was a date form, uh, text format, sorry. And we need to parse it towards the date format so we can continue working with it. So this is what we do here. Um, basically, we say, hey, I want to take the date column and I want to format it given this uh, format here. All right. And uh, after we did all of this, uh, we arrive at the final result, which is the ad spend combined table, um, where we have the clean date, uh, date column, the channel, as well as the ad spend for that given date and channel. Okay, so uh, after doing this, let's take a step back again and jump into the orders side of things. Um, so here, very similarly, we first start out by pulling together the two uh, order tables into one. And this is uh, what this will look like. So uh, we have the orders ID, we have the amount of the order, um, we have the order date, which also needs to be parsed to a date column. Uh, we have the customer ID, we know whether it's a repeat order or not, we know which shop it came from also, uh, we know what was the last channel um, that ultimately led to this order. So after union this, uh, we first do the date parsing and uh, we actually uh, built in one more step here already, uh, which is to calculate the lifetime value and to calculate the first order date. So what we do is we do a group by, so we look at all um, the information, all of the orders per customer. Um, so per customer, we will sum uh, all the total amounts of the different orders, which will result in the LTV. Um, and as a separate thing, we will look 
through all the different orders and order dates and return the minimum one. So we will identify the first order date. This is what we need later to do the um, cohort kind of view. Um, so to be able to say, hey, how did the average LTV in CAC change over months? Okay, um, so after doing this, we're joining this customer based information back to the orders table. And then we have the final output, which basically looks like this. So we have the orders table plus the two pieces of information that we just calculated, the LTV and the first order date. All right, so um, if you remember, those were the two intermediary steps that we needed to then now be able to create the ad spend and orders table. So what's missing is the CAC that we need to calculate. And this is what we will do now. And uh, here you see one of the features of Y42. Um, it actually allows you to take other models as input. So you don't have to always go back to the very uh, sources of data and do all of the calculations over and over again. Okay. So on a higher level, what we want to achieve here is to first bring both the orders and the ad spend into a format um, where we see the number of orders per day in channel as well as the ad spend per day in channel. Um, and after doing that, we will join those two together to be able to um, do the actual CAC calculation, which is to take the ad spend of a given uh, day and channel um, and divide it by um, the number of orders of the day and channel. Um, and afterwards, basically, uh, we will take this average CAC that we've calculated and join it back to the orders table um, to then have the final output with which we can then do the visualizations. Cool. Um, let's get into it. So uh, let's start with the ad spend combined. So what we're doing here, um, similarly to how we calculated the LTV, is to use an aggregations node. So we group by um, both date and channel um, on a daily level. And we want to sum up all the ad spend of a given uh, day and channel. So this is how this will look like. So you will have let's say the 17th of September via Amazon ads, we spent roughly 2,200 euros uh, on the 26th of January, we did 144 and so on and so forth. Okay, so let's bring the orders table to the same level of granularity. Uh, one thing uh, in between what we do want in terms of our simple attribution model is to say, hey, uh, we want to attribute all of the acquisition costs only to new um, orders. So what we will do is we filter for only new orders. So every uh, order where the repeat order is false. So basically all new orders. Um, and then we do the very same thing as we did with the ad spend. So we're grouping by order date and last click channel um, and count the number of orders per given uh, combination, which will result uh, in this table here, which looks very familiar to what we had in the ad spend, just that here we have the number of new orders. All right, um, in the next step then, now that we've brought both into the same um, format, what we're going to do is that we are going to join, uh, do a left join on the channel and the date. So what you will get is uh, a table that gives you per date and uh, channel, the number of new orders, as well as the ad spend of that given combination. Um, and we can do a left join in this case, uh, just you're wondering, because we know that the data is in such a way that there are no days uh, where we have no new orders. All right, um, now that we got everything in the table, we can do the actual simple arithmetic calculation, which is to take the ad spend um, per general and date um, and divide that by the number of new orders. So in this case here, uh, we would look at um, this kind of uh, day and channel and we would take the 1,296 in ad spend and divide it by 13 to arrive at an average customer acquisition cost of roughly 100 here. And um, to then join that back uh, onto the order. So what we do here basically is just removing everything that we don't need. Um, so we just need the order date, last click channel and the CAC of that combination. Um, and then we can join it back uh, onto the orders um, based on the order date and the last click channel. So basically we're saying every order uh, for such a combination has the same average CAC. So now you see uh, we're actually back in the orders table, just that we've added uh, both an LTV here as well as the CAC. And uh, if you remember 
from the beginning. This is what we wanted to achieve. So now we've got the uh, first order date, we've got the LTV, um, and we've got the CAC for the given order. Which leads us to the visualization again. So uh, here what we do, just to uh, keep this very simple, is to only look into one of these um, visualizations and you'll see that uh, this is what we used. So we uh, want to segment this by the first order date um, per month and uh, we want to actually summarize it by, so this is uh, basically different columns, um, A, the LTV, which, or the average LTV, uh, which is these bars, um, as well as showing the uh, average customer acquisition cost, which is the red line. So uh, basically this is how you can uh, really integrate all these different data sources on a raw level, um, apply your very custom attribution and calculations, uh, and keep in mind that all of this uh, is actually super advanced. You can do so many powerful things with this. And we haven't written one single line of code anywhere. And if you think about this, this is so extremely powerful. This connects directly at the core to the different data sources. So you can imagine that after building this up once, you will have an automated report for average CAC and LTV calculation. Uh, which automatically updates, it's super reliable, and uh, you've built this without any coding knowledge. So congrats, and I hope uh, you'll enjoy the platform and build many more interesting analyses.